Drum yes. roll, please. All right. Anime Dartboard is the segment where we discuss a previously selected maximum 500 minute uh, dubbed anime and then choose another one. <laughs> that is exactly what we do. Yes. Uh, it is either fun for me or torturous for me. It really depends on what we have to do. I, uh, I wanted to do a very plain one this time uh, so that there's enough of a break between the fucking anniversary podcast one so that when I come in hot again, uh, you won't be compared to... <laughs> it won't be compared to my anniversary intro. <laughs> <laughs> fair enough uh this is magic users club uh ova not the tv anime which is a sequel uh so john what did you think of magic users club the ova i fucking hated it <laughs> <laughs> i'm gonna be completely honest i hated all six episodes okay <laughs> uh so you did watch all six episodes then I oh yeah I watched all six episodes. Okay, okay. Uh, what did you hate about it? <laughs> Just everything, <laughs> like the, the the plot, the fucking the characters, the terrible animation, the music. I hated it all. It was it was offensive to every sense, including taste and touch. I could somehow taste and touch it. Huh? Yeah. Like there was um, a lot of like horny guy jokes, and I was like, <sighs> like yeah, and and like it was only six episodes, but it felt like thirteen. Right, gotcha. <laughs> and like I still don't understand how the fuck it ended. Like it just fucking went from. I feel like it could have benefited from being like a twelve episode thing to like kind of get more into it. But, like, by this sixth episode, like, I had to make, like, when my, when the app stopped, stopped playing the show, I, like, went to go check and make sure there wasn't another episode. I'm like, that was the ending? I'm like, what the fuck is this? Yeah, yeah. It, it, it's definitely a sort of a slog. Um, I thought the I, uh, the premise was interesting. Like, the Space Force tried to hold off a bell from outer space, and it just didn't work. And then the bell was sourcing for magic, but they managed to, like, break out with the power of friendship and magic and shit yeah, um, friendship, yeah. Wh one thing i appreciated about this was the main character's best friend uh one trying to get her out of this dumb shit magic club <laughs> uh <laughs> but two i appreciated where she like confesses to the gay guy and the gay guy and like i i really like the direction they went with that where it, it's the show takes a surprisingly like earnest and like uh like a serious heartfelt moment and he's like oh uh, no <laughs> oh uh, uh, no sweetie <laughs> but no but like it, it's, it's actually a really good moment like she knows it's like pointless but she does it anyway and like he lets her down gently but is also like no <laughs> no i'm very clearly gay and i'm also like <laughs> I impressed that the show committed to that <laughs> yeah they to... really they really committed to it yeah they committed to it a, a lesser show wouldn't have so shout out to that um, yeah. I also kind of appreciated the, like, uh, I, I want to call them the manga club. I watched this a while ago. Uh, like, President and her, like, crush on her, like, childhood friend who, like, had the, the magic club. Um, yeah. I thought that I thought that was an interesting dynamic, what they did with that. Um, but overall, I felt the show was, like, very slow going, kind of kind of silly a little a little over the top but not necessarily in an interesting way unlike john i didn't find this to be offensive on every <laughs> single level in fact i didn't even find i found it very bland honestly um it was very boring it was, it was very, very boring I, it was very bland to me it, it was like uh like like unsweetened oatmeal <laughs> um <laughs> With, with not quite enough water in it. Like, so it was a little chunky, a little hard to get down, but there wasn't a whole exactly, lot of... Exactly, offensive to every sense. It wasn't a lot of flavor to it in the first place. Um, uh, yeah, I if, thought... Honestly, I wouldn't have finished this if I wasn't playing a game while watching it at the same time. Yeah. So, like, it was just, it was background noise for me, because I was like, I watched the first, like, two episodes, and I was like, I need to do something while watching this, so I'm just going to get bored of it. Yeah. So I just, like, watched and played New World at the same time, and I was like, 
all right. <laughs> this is a little bit better. I'm not like incredibly bored, but yeah, it was just damn offensive. It 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 is it is it is it is chunky on sweetened oatmeal. Is yeah. my review <laughs> of <laughs> Magic Users Club. Um, I would say more like sour milk, but to its own. I don't think it had enough flavor to be sour anything. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. It's not even good enough to be sour milk. Um, yeah, there were things to appreciate it about it, but it just didn't... It, like, I, I don't really find enough... Like, I didn't think there was many negatives to the show, but there also wasn't really anything super positive about it either. It was... It was in the meh category for me. It was like, very meh, yeah. 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 Um, it uh, was only six episodes, so it wasn't, at least it wasn't like 13 episodes of uh, bleh, you know what I'm saying? Like you said, like you, it would have benefited from being 13 episodes, but... Yeah, I, still, still better than Skycrawlers. <laughs> which is shorter. Yeah, <laughs> surprisingly. I would I agree mean, this so is like... better than Skycrawlers. Uh, I gave this uh, a five... I gave this a five out of ten. I gave it a four. That's fair. I could see yeah. that. I could. <laughs> I, I wouldn't fault anyone good. for giving it a four. Um, I, I can't. I can't give it lower than a four because it's like an actual show with like actual animation and voice acting and stuff. Not that it was good on all fronts, but it was there. Yeah, it was. It was f certainly there. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, it is. This is, I think, like a '90s original OVA that very clearly had a poor budget. Um, oh yeah, I can, I can tell. It's like they wanted to be like Sailor Moonish, like with the end, like the, the art style. Uh, but it just doesn't slap no, as good. I would really? not agree. No, it reminded me. It rem like the art style reminded me of Sailor Moon. Like just like the the tinginess. Of, that like, is because you are too much of a normie. <laughs> <laughs> I guess you're right, that's because yeah. you're too normie. Uh, although I believe the guy who did it worked on Sailor Moon. Okay, that makes sense. Yeah. <laughs> um which well, is even um what was the one that made me told me to watch like that one was from the 80s fucking uh, wicked city yeah like that one looked better than this and this, that one's older well, it was you know also I mean? it was also an ova like it, it uh, had a higher budget oh okay yeah yeah okay yeah the uh, junichi sato uh, uh directed sailor moon season one um so that might be why you're picking up Sailor Moon vibes. Um, there, there's a lot of distinction between like the art style. Um, I wouldn't, I wouldn't say this is, uh, like maybe I'm talking out of my ass, but I wouldn't really say this looks like Sailor Moon to me. It, it just, to me, this just looks like what one would expect from like a '90s anime. Um, yeah, I think, I think that's where that correlation goes. Cause it it kind of, it kind of gave me like, like you know, like the DBZ vibes, like Yu Yu, but just not as well animated as those shows i i feel like the because this is an original anime that was directed by junichi sato what i think happened was i think he wanted to create this but he just didn't have the time or budget to pull off what he was actually going for like in a way yeah. i almost feel like this was a pitch to make something else you know like to to maybe like lead into a full series is kind of what i feel like yeah, I can, I can kind of, I can kind of back that too, because it does feel like it's a part one of a story that's not fully there yet. Yeah, like Which almost is why like I would have benefited from six more episodes. Yeah, or like a thirteen episode uh, anime sequel, perhaps on TV, like a, yeah. like a, like a televised thirteen episode anime sequel, maybe. Yeah, I mean, but I mean, like I hated it, but like. If somebody was like, oh, what's like a 90s anime that I could watch that I could get done quick, I'd probably recommend it. Okay. Because maybe they'll like it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I mean, I know I didn't, but maybe they would. I don't know. Yeah. Like, if my aunt came to me and she's like, I want to watch something that has magic in it, and it's an anime, I'd be like, watch uh, this one. But I have less than 500 minutes. <laughs> yeah. So I'd be like, watch it. Six episodes. It's easily watchable, and maybe you'll like it. Yes. I didn't. But yes. <laughs> maybe you will um yeah all right so yeah that i i mean i don't really have much to say about it it was pretty short and it, like i said uh a chunky unsweetened oatmeal <laughs> yeah nothing really happened <sighs> nothing really <laughs> happened i would agree so there's with like that six episodes and like nothing happens the entire time yeah um, like even my daughter was like this show's pretty boring i'm like this is why you're my kid you understand <laughs> things I, I, I told you, uh, don't watch this at work the day of, because you're going to have trouble getting through it. 
I said that on Fair stream. Enough. I don't remember if you heard it. I'm like, you're going to want to watch this the day before. Not because of nudity, but because it's a slog. Yeah, because I, I watched it the Thursday before we were supposed to do it last week. Yeah. yeah. And I'm like, just sitting here and I'm like, fucking Christ, man. <laughs> if you sack said it was a slog. Yeah, you did. Yeah, like, you did. And I never expect something that's six episodes to be so boring. You didn't make it through Sky Crawlers, and that was half as long. You're damn right. <laughs> I watched the opening opening part of that movie. I'm like, I'm done with this. And I have finished Skycrawlers. <laughs> and I'm done. Here's my review. Didn't finish. Yes. Well, all right. Uh, yeah, I, I give it a nice 5 out of 10. At least we're yeah. done with it. Yeah. Uh, but I, I made the commitment to finish the animes going forward, so I'm doing that, regardless of if they're boring or not. Oh, good for you. I'm proud. Mm. Yeah, I'm going to finish finish it, even if I hate it. Anyway, yeah, so uh, before we spin the next dart, I actually added a bunch of uh, uh, a new anime to the list, so it's actually larger than the last time we did this. Neat. Excuse me. One of the new things I added was uh, uh, Mahotsukai uh, Tai TV, uh, which is uh, the 13-episode anime television series for Magic Users Club. <laughs> You know, I don't normally say this, but I fucking hate you for that. <laughs> it is entirely possible that we could get the sequel to Magic Users Club on the dartboard. If it might even be this back, month. If I have to watch that back to back, honestly, like horror month is going to get real spooky because it's going to blow my fucking brains out. I don't. God damn it, Seth. <laughs> There's like a you know, one. I, ha <laughs> There's I like had a, a feeling <laughs> when I, when I mentioned that the the TV series is 13 episodes that many times in a row. <laughs> that and when I asked you, I'm like, it's the sixth the sixth one, right? And you're like, yeah. I'm like, well, this is sneakily 13 episode one too. I, like, I, I believe I said. I, I think I think I said with. something like, yeah, for now. <laughs> Okay, Jesus Christ. Well, let's hope we don't get that back to back because that'll be a. Uh... There is a one in ninety chance. <laughs> one in 90. I don't like these odds. Uh, at least I think it's one in ninety. I can double check right now. I can uh, control A and because I have the document and I can tell you there are uh, one in ninety six. Okay, those odds I are added like ready. ten anime since last time. Okay, so there's a so there's a one in ninety six chance we get this again. <laughs> You basically re-upped on the whole one year of watching. I t yeah, you were like, <laughs> you were like, when we get to like episode eighty, we'll be I, we'll be doing anime arcs. I'm like, no, no, we won't. <laughs> I'll never run out. <laughs> back to back, made ones back to back. Absolutely not. Uh, we'll see. We'll see what happens. All right, we ready to spin this fucker? Uh, I swear, if it comes up, I'm gonna fucking puke. But yeah, let's spin it. All right. Let's do it. Oh, that's what fucking god! If you start laughing, I'm gonna know it's. I'm gonna know it's. Uh, well, it's on screen now. We have the new technology. Remember? Oh yeah, yeah, that's okay. right. We have new tech. We're like Tony Stark in this. Shuffle, bitch. shuffle, shuffle. I swear to fucking god, if I have to watch this back to back. I like this new tech we got. Uh, Taiho Shichouzo. Alright, well, great news, John. I don't know what this is. Oh, <laughs> that's either good or bad. Uh, Taiho Shichouzo. Oh, shit! You're under arrest! Okay, I'm actually excited about this one. <laughs> okay, right, you're under arrest uh, by Studio Dean, which is actually a decent studio. Um... Let's see. It is four episode OVA series aired in 1994 to 1995. Its genres are uh, action and comedy. Its theme is police. Demographic is setting with 30 minutes per episode. Uh, so it's about two hours altogether. 
uh, on, with an on. average score of 7.46. Running late on her first day as a patrol woman for the Bakuto Police Department, spunky moped rider Natsumi Sujimoto decides to take several shortcuts, only to be chased down, incited by mechanical genius and expert police driver Miyuki Kobayakawa. Upon arrival at precinct, Natsumi finds out that her new partner is the same woman who ticketed her earlier. At first, she doesn't trust Miyuki. But in a short period of time, they develop an unbreakable friendship that overcomes traffic accidents, reckless drivers, and even the strongest typhoons to hit Tokyo. Uh, so this is not an unknown anime. Uh, I've seen bits of pieces of it. Oh, this is directed by uh, Kazuhiro Furu Furuhashi, who I have heard of, I think. Uh, yeah, this is not an unknown anime. This is a, um, a semi-popular like 90s anime. I wouldn't call it a classic um, but it is, it is, it's been around. People know of it. Um, let's see. This man directed Amatsuki, um, Bin Shotan, uh, Dororo 2019. Uh, oh God, he, uh, wait, no, this is Get Backers, right? Not, not that, uh, not Handshakers. Yeah, this is Get Backers and not Handshakers. Um, so that one's okay. Um, I don't know what that is. Uh, he directed uh, the original uh, Hunter Hunter, uh, Le Chevalier oh, Dion. He directed uh, Gundam uh, Unicorn. Um, let's see. He directed. Oh, he directed R Roni Kenshin. Oh, okay. Yeah. And... Uh, anime I haven't seen <laughs> yet. But everyone says watch it. And he was an animation director on Urusei Yutsura. So this man's been around since like the 80s at least. So he's a, he's a guy. He's done shit. People know of him. Okay. Um, yeah. Anyway, uh, I've seen clips of it. It just looks amusing. And look at all of the sequel potential that I can throw onto the darts. Oh boy, I can't. Look at, can't. Look at all of this shit I could throw on. Another Jesus TV Christ. series, a special, there's a movie apparently, a second season, uh, another season called Full Throttle. Uh, yeah, 47. With the, with I guess I can't, I guess I can't throw a 47 the... episode anime series on. Um, 20 mini specials, a full movie. Uh, okay, well, I guess I can't throw any of this on here because all of this is too long. <laughs> Woo! But, at the very least, uh, I clearly added this on with the intention of watching the rest of it. What the hell is that? What the hell is what? What was that? What? what? Watching what? What? What are you saying what you put on what? To watch I, added, what? I added you're under arrest with the intention of watching the rest of the you're under arrest. Oh, okay. That anime. Makes sense. Okay. At one point, yeah. Because this is the first part of it. So this is supposed to lead you into the rest of it. That makes sense. And there's also a spinoff called You're Under Arrest in America. Interesting. <laughs> Apparently. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Uh, so I think this might be a decent... I'm expecting a 6 or 7 um, 90s uh, OVA. That's what I'm expecting from this. I think this is going to be a, a decent, slightly comedic um uh cop show from the 90s no well, if it's unlike anything that we just watched i mean, I'll like it it could be exactly like what we just watched actually god damn it <laughs> but with cops <laughs> but with co oh, yeah. i i see i think i think the other thing too is that like i've been watching a lot of like magic shit too lately and like watching these magic shows like if they're not good i'm just like fuck <laughs> i like oh. i like a good magic show you know Right. Well, now you have a cop show. <laughs> you no, know, I'm fine with that. I don't mind cop stuff. Yes. You know. Um, I like Zootopia just as much as the next person. You know. Zootopia is a solid movie, actually. It is a pretty good movie. <laughs> fun fact. <laughs> Judy Hopped. Fun, fun fact. You read <laughs> the? Uh, uh, have you read the the Judy Hopps like Nick abortion story? What? You haven't. No, what there's the a fuck? fan comic 
uh, where, uh, uh, like, uh, Nick gets Judy pregnant, and they have this whole discussion about making a hybrid fox-rabbit baby, and Judy wants to get an abortion, and Nick doesn't want to get an abortion. He's really excited about the baby. So, uh, Judy's like, well, I'm getting an abortion no matter what, and Nick is like, well, then I'm leaving you, and Judy's like, well, I gotta put my career first. I'm getting this fucking baby out of me right now. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> Why didn't Disney put that in the canon? I don't know. <laughs> but yeah, it totally exists. It's fucking nuts. Che- check it out if you want to see a fanfic about Judy Hopps uh, breaking up uh, with Nick uh, over wanting an abortion. You know what? I think I'm fine with the um, with not doing that. <laughs> with not doing um, <laughs> I think I'm okay with this. I think I can live. For the record, Mad Bull Thirty Four is an is a is a decent uh, '90s cop OVA, also. But neat. He has a bunch of grenades tied to his pubes at one point. <laughs> okay. Okay. Yeah. From um, abortions to grenade pubes. Yeah. The cold um, topic podcast. <laughs> cold topic podcast. <laughs> um. Anyway, yeah. Uh, you're under arrest. Uh, I'm kind of excited for it. Uh, and I also like that it's short because that means it won't interrupt my anime flow too hard. Um, I really like that it's like yeah, two hours. Yeah, yeah it's it's, <laughs> so it's two yeah, yeah it's thirty minutes, four episodes each, not counting credits. You probably get it done in under two hours if you don't watch the credits. I never watch credits, Zach. I don't even read big dialogue in games. You think I'm gonna sit through credits? Um, yeah, uh, because of the MCU. Well, yeah, but see, what I do is I I personally vet myself before to make sure there's like a, a good enough like post credit scene for me to stay. Like Shang Shang Chi is a good uh, example of that. Like I knew there was two, but I knew the first one was like more interesting, so I didn't stay for the second one. I what I do is I watch the. <laughs> All right, okay, hang on. I'm gonna I'm gonna call the dartboard here. So that I have an excuse to cut this out and not air it on my actual anime channel. <laughs>